Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. This is part two, and this is really not necessary, but a lot of people might get confused with step and repeat and the horizontal and vertical and the offset and space between. This business card is three and a half inches long. If you set your nudge factor on 3.75 and control D and make a duplicate, it's going to be a quarter inch apart and then just keep hitting control D and you can visually see that they fit. Now they're two inches tall, so we're going to set our nudge factor to 2.25. 2 we're going to grab them all, control D, control D, control D, control D. This way you can kind of see what, whoops, I hit the wrong arrow key. Uh, how many you can actually get on the sheet? Like we're a little bit off the edge there. And, um, and you could have them closer together. Um, but if you're going to use this template for a long time, maybe it would even be better to have them a half inch apart so the, the template will not break or fall apart. So we'll just do the same thing with make this four inches apart. Now you're not going to get as many on the sheet, but they're going to be a half inch apart. And you still get six. Now we're going to make this two and a half. Grab all these, control D. And a lot of times I'm going to use this instead of step and repeat because I can have it done by the time I go to step and repeat and, and move it. There's a pretty good fair amount on that board. Now, like in that other video, I would, don't forget, if you haven't watched part one, it was really about doing a template and I would actually move this down say, let's go point two and grab them all and move that down just minutely so you'd have some room up here at top for your set home spot. And we just set a home and using a little crosshair X made out of a hairline. Let's uh, change that 90 degrees. And if you would set this, it has to be here. It has to be where this is below it and to the left. So maybe we're gonna make those lines shorter or basically just bring it in a little bit. And uh, cause you want it inside your laser bed, that would work right there. And if you will set your home right there, you can use this template for years. Uh, lasers get off a little bit through time, you know, hitting something uh, just constant use. They're going to get off. I mean, just a mind miss. And even if you know how to align your machine, you have to align it perfectly. And then you're going to spend more time aligning it for this job and whatever. And then you could do those crosshairs that we talked about in the first video. You could just take this same thing and put them anywhere inside your drawing as long as it's not inside your business cards and just don't cut this out. But when you cut out this template and then the next time you put it in your bed, if you will just grab those two marks and see if it won't cutting on exactly on those two lines. And if it does, your template's good to go. But don't forget to set your home right there. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.